Welcome to In the Art Lab, episode 10. In this episode, Photo 1 students show their Rules of Composition project. What we did was um, each class period is set up into four different studios. Those studios were tasked with kind of diving into the Rules of Composition a little bit more. Uh, each student, they kind of divvied up the 12 rules between the students within the studio. They had a shared Google slide that I set up for each of the studios within each of the class periods. And they kind of, they showed what the, or they said what the rule was. They explained the rule. They showed a picture of their own that showed that rule. And then they explained how that picture used that rule of composition. Once all of those were done, they looked good. It was a group project. They're all collaborating, working on it together. We went into our library, which is called the VLC, Virtual Learning Center. And they have these little breakout areas with TVs in them. Um, the students then connected their Chromebook to one of the TVs and they screencasted their presentation explaining it and presenting it that way. They then, we used a Loom for that. Then Loom gives you a link and they submitted the link on a Google form. I kind of compiled all the links for each of the class periods so then each class period had their own group of links. And then um, students then did a peer review so they kind of, they reviewed themselves and then they reviewed everyone else in their group. And then once I got all the links in the following day, we did a group evaluation. So they listened to each other's presentations. Um, they evaluated their own presentation and the other presentations in the class period they were in. And then I go through and I grade them. And so I use this little sheet here that I made. I really need to techify this and make it into a survey. I think it'll probably make things a little bit easier, but um, one step at a time. So then that's how we did it. So on this episode, I then screencasted their screencast. So the quality might not be the best, um, but Loom seems to be the easiest to work with for the students. So I didn't really want to throw another wrench in it and do something different. So we just went with Loom. I screencasted it. Um, some of their slides, I think they learned when they looked at other groups' pictures and they, they learned a little bit. Um, I, I noticed a lot on the group evaluation like, oh, I think I messed up on this one. Um, and that was a good thing to teach within their students. So thank you. Well, I hope you enjoy their projects. And as always, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> okay, so for the rule of even and odd, it's when you take a photograph with an odd number of subjects to capture the viewer's attention more than a photo with an even amount of subjects. The picture on the left catches the viewer eyes, viewer's eyes more because it's not as forced as the picture with only two glasses. It's more dynamic. The rule of framing and cropping is when you have a photo that has too much space around the subject, so you frame and crop the subject to make it more focused. The first picture I took was the one on the left, but I thought there was too much space around the subject and it was taking away the focus of the photo. I framed and cropped the fireplace directly around the part I wanted the focus to be on. <laughs> <clears throat> the rule of composition is symmetry. Symmetry in photography composition is when both halves of the photo hold the same weight. This image exemplifies this rule because if you were to draw a horizontal line down the middle, it would hold the same weight on both sides. The rule of thirds is a suggestion to divide the photo into thirds and place the subject on one of those sides instead of in the corners. This image exemplifies this rule because instead of my subject being in the center, she's on the left side, and if I were to put a grid on this photo, her eyes would line up with the top line. Rule of composition, patterns, and reputation. When something is repeated, it can create a visual pattern. Uh, the uh, picture that I chose... Crap. Um, seeing the wood over and over again is a visual pattern. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, rule of composition, simplification... Oh, never mind, that's not mine. Rule of composition, triangles. Triangles have three sides and tend to form stable, solid-looking compositions. Uh, the fins of the shark make the base of the triangle, and its head make up the top of the triangle. Uh, rule of composition, simplification, explanation of the rule. This rule is when the photographer takes a picture, and it's simple, and there's not a lot of things going on in the photo. This image is simple because there's not a lot going on. There's a lake, some trees, and some old farm equipment. Rule of composition, juxtaposition. When there are two things of two different colors, like black and white. 
This image shows jugs to position because there are some objects that stick out from others. The game. The game says when someone or something is looking directly into the camera and making it hard to look away. With this image, your first look goes to her eyes because she is looking directly into the camera. Okay. Little competition. Space. The rule is when there is room between them and the frame. This photo shows how there is space between the subject and the frame of the photo. Rule of composition aspect ratio. This term is used to determine the dimensions of the photo width and height. This image shows aspect ratio because you can see the clouds, the cloudiness in the sky in the window, but in the anger in front of it helps determine the size because of the place and position. Leading lines. Ref this composition reads, refers to the technique in which the viewer's attention is drawn to lines leading to the subject. This photo shows leading lines because the fan in the background draws your attention to the alarm clock. Um, I have the rule of thirds. Um, the explanation is that you divide the camera into thirds and then you put the subject on the lines making it look correct. And then the fire extinguisher is on the third line in between the third, the third line and the top making the subject stand out. I have the rule of evens and odds. The rule of even of odds is the sense the picture looks better with odd numbers of people or objects in it. Explanation of how image exemplifies rules. Comparing both pictures, you should get a feel that the two lions have an offsetting feel while the five humans look more pleasant to the eye. Okay, so the rule of composition I have is triangles. This, comp this rule of composition is triangles have three sides, as we all know, and they tend to form stable and solid-looking compositions. This image exemplifies this rule by putting triangular shapes into their images to show stable, solid-looking compositions. What I did was I took an image of the sky, but I got the silhouette of some roofs that were in the shapes of triangles to make the composition solid and stable. I have the rule of space. Adding in space gives the illusion that an object is moving. Explanation of how the image exemplifies rules. In the bottle force perspective, space gives the illusion that one bottle is smaller than another. The space between the drumstick and the hi-hat gives the illusion that he's about to hit the hi-hat. So I have simplification. Simplification is using certain techniques to bring out the subject and simplify the image so that the eye goes to the subject. This image is, exemplifies this rule because it uses vignette to bring the eye to the, the subject. Um, you can do this by lighting, brush strokes, vignette, and the use of color. Tomorrow we'll composition has symmetry. Symmetry is when you take a photo that can be spent vertically, horizontally, or diagonal, and equal on both sides. Uh, this photo shows this shows the rule of symmetry by having one main subject in the middle, and then it is equal on both sides. Because of the photo being equal on both sides, it makes the photo more enjoyable to the eye. My rule of composition is pattern and repetition. This is when something is repeated and it creates a visual pattern. The pattern can show texture or abstract visual appearance. In this image, the pattern is in the bricks. This pattern adds texture and draws the viewer's attention. Juxtaposition. Juxtaposition is a photo that shows a dramatic contrast, and it is usually used with colors on opposite sides of the color wheel. This image gives an example of juxtaposition because it shows two contrasting colors side by side. It also shows juxtaposition by contrasting colors on the keys. Because of these all contrasting, it makes them. Uh, can't even read that. It makes them look better to the eye. Oh, the uh, gaze is when your subject is making direct eye contact with the camera, which will catch the viewer's attention. Um, this photo shows the gaze. Reason being is her eyes are looking directly at the camera, which will capture the viewer's attention. The rule of composition is leading lines. The viewer will be attracted to lines that lead toward the subject and pull their attention in. The lines on the softball field start at home plate and point out towards the outfield, drawing in the viewer's attention. Expect ratio. ratio. Explanation of rule of dimensions of the height of width of of your image.
Okay. So the rule of composition I have is framing and cropping. One rule of composition is framing and cropping. Framing and cropping is where you take a photo and crop it to where it looks better, or the way you crop a photo can tell a whole different story. This photo shows framing and cropping because I cropped the kids' feet and the chairs out of the photo. The Rules of Composition by Orange Lens, featuring Xander Lynch, Emily Parrish, Charles Duncan, Alessia Greider, Brenna McGea, Kellen Copeland, and Julian Thompson. The, the rule of thirds is when the subject of the photo is on one of the one-third lines in the photo. The, this image exemplifies the rule of thirds because the, because the main subject is, is one-third away from the edge of the photo. The rule of even and odd. Odd numbers are more visually pleasing than even numbers in a picture. The left picture is an even amount of people and the right picture is one person, so it's odd. And it looks more pleasing than the left because all the focus is on him. The rule of triangles is used to form a stable and solid looking composition. The explanation of how the image exemplifies is the photo exemplifies the rule of triangles through my friend's flexibility. She made a triangle with her over split. The rule of space is that the picture must have more space, and the goals are really spaced out. To have the picture really spaced out, then the picture must seem like it's a bigger room. This rule is not complicated, and it's easy to understand how to take this kind of picture. Both pictures are very simple because they have a flower, but look pretty with the sunlight in the background. There's also a picture anyone can take. The rule of symmetry is a line that splits the object in half and it is an exact mirror image. It is considered a symmetry. I split the image in half and it is almost like an exact mirror image. There's many patterns going on here, but the reason this one is patterns and repetition is because at the top of the cage uh, area has lines and holes that shows many patterns and makes a great picture. The photos show different patterns, so this would be patterns of repetition, but it also helps me understand this rule. Juxtaposition is the placing of things close to one another in order to emphasize their difference. This image exemplifies juxtaposition by placing the black and white surfaces close together to emphasize their contrast. The gaze rule is when a subject is looking directly at you, creating a powerful and disconcerting effect. These images apply the gaze rule because the eyes are used to affect an emotion. People have a tendency to stare at people's eyes, so when there's a complete gaze into the camera, it helps. There are certain lines that lead to an object or the subject that leads to the looker's eye to the subject or object. In this photo, there are an amount of lines that lead to the subject. This helps not only emphasize the subject, but also give the viewer an imagination about the photo. Aspect ratio is the rule that encompasses the shape of the image, length versus height. Uh, images in exemplify this rule when they are corresponding lengths and heights, such as 16 by 9, 3 by 2, or 21 by 9. They can come in many others, but these three are, are some of the most common. The rule is the proportional space created by the length and the width. The dimensions of this photo are 9 by 16, I believe. I can't that. Framing and cropping is choosing the camera viewpoint and what to include within the frame. These images exemplify framing and cropping by showing how drastically your image can change depending on how it's framed or cropped.
has an even number, and the statue is in Washington, D.C., and there are three, and just the position they are in looks good. Um, I also had rule of thirds, and the rule of thirds is where there are four corners when your camera is split into nine sections, and you want your subject to be right on the middle one of the corners. Uh, this image shows the rule of thirds because it is right on one of the lines and on one of the corners. The rule of triangles tend to form stable, solid-looking compositions, and the photo exemplifies the rule because the top of the middle boat is the top of the triangle, and then the bottom ends are the bases of the boats. The rule of space is, simple, is simply a technique that creates a sense of motion, activity, or conclusion in a composition, and has space in between the subject and the side of the picture. My explanation is that the image shows space and how space is between the subjects in the picture. Rule of composition simplification. <sighs> the rule of simplification is a method of reducing the objects in the photo to only the most essential parts to support the photo statement. Uh, this image exem exemplifies simplification because there is one main object and not much in the background. Uh, how does symmetry? Symmetry refers to a line that splits an object in half, and if both sides of the image are an exact mirror image of each other, then the object is said to be symmetrical. The line that splits a symmetrical object is called the line of symmetry. I believe this picture is an example of symmetry because if you split the picture straight down the middle, then both sides would be the exact same. Pattern and repetition. The rule of repetition when is when something is repeated, it can create a visual pattern. Patterns can be used to suggest texture and and or can produce an abstract visual experience. This image exemplifies the rule of pattern repetition because of all the patterns on the curtains. They are repeating all throughout the picture. The rule of juxtaposition is the placing of things close to one another in order to emphasize their difference. This image exemplifies the rule of juxtaposition because the lime is a main subject and a different color than the lemons, which make it pop out more. The rule of framing and cropping is how your subject is positioned within the confines or edges of your photograph and how much of subject and background you see and what is cut off. And my picture wasn't close up, and so it made the picture kind of odd by seeing the background, so cropping around the flower really brought out its colors and details and made all the focus on the flower. Weeding and lines. Weeding lines, except example, example is reviewer, like viewer's eyes is attracted to lines that are leading directly to the subject in the image. This image exemplifies the role of leading lines because the lines of the parking lot are leading you to see the back of the middle school building. The explanation of the gaze is that in the photograph, the person has to be looking in the space behind them where you can focus on their gaze. My image fixates on this rule because my subject is looking at the camera and you can focus on her eyes. I feel that in my picture, the subject's eyes stand out because of the sparkle-like glare that comes from her glasses lens. The explanation of the aspect ratio of a, is the aspect ratio of a triangle is the ratio of its longer side to its shorter side. The ratio of width to height when the rectangle is oriented as a landscape. This, the pictures are landscape and they are in the form of an aspect ratio. So, this is our rules of composition presentation and we're certified for a moment. The rule of symmetry is essentially when something is symmetrical or looks even on all sides or is balanced on all sides. These images exemplify the role of symmetry by showing both sides are even and balanced. Simplification is basically where you draw attention of the viewer by simplifying the background of the image, making the subject stand out more. The way that the background is blurry and out of focus exemplifies the role of simplification by drawing the viewer's attention to the subject. The rule of odds states that images more, are more visible. I'm done. Visually appealing when there are an odd number of subjects. The, there are three marked emotions. <laughs> There are three markers, and three is an odd number. There are two mice, and so that's even. The odd looks better. It's more eye Oh, my <laughs> Pattern and repetition is exactly what it sounds like. There's a pattern somewhere, and it repeats multiple times throughout the photo. Uh, this image exemplifies the rule of pattern repetition, because the boards of wood seem to all be going in similar directions and in a pattern. Leading lines is a technique where lines lead a path for the eye to see different elements of the photo. The... <laughs> The rows of beans lead your eyes out to the trees in the background. Space is whenever there's a neutral spot in an image that draws the attention to the subject. My image exemplifies this rule by making the foreground seem more important than the background, because the foreground is more clear than the blurry background. 
aspect ratio is when you modify the ratio of the sides to make the image look zoomed out. These images show aspect ratio because there's a major difference whenever the aspect ratio is changed. <coughs> My first rule was juxtaposition. A juxtaposition is having two things next to each other that are pretty much opposites. This can use small and large, a contrast in colors, and many other things that are opposites. This image exemplifies the juxtaposition by showing the size difference between the two subjects. There is a major size difference between the two, so juxtaposition is shown between them. My second rule is the rule of thirds. The rule of third uses a grid to split the image into thirds and when taking a picture and places the subject on one of the points or one of the lines that splits the image. This image exemplifies the rule of thirds by putting the camera on my subject on one of the points of intersections of the lines that separate the image into thirds. This puts it in the bottom third and the right third of the picture. The gaze leaves a space between the camera and the subject where they can center their gaze. My image is a picture of my friend Beth who is looking at the camera and you can tell where her gaze is. Um, framing and cropping is a, it refers to how your subject is positioned and how the cropping of the subject would look best. You can also add a frame to make your subject pop. The original picture is better and not as oddly cropped. The second picture cuts off of some of her and you can tell that there are people around here that are the cut off, cut off as well. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Aiden present. <laughs> <laughs> with the roll of triangles. The roll of triangles requires the main subject or other items in the photo to be tr a triangle or aligned like a triangle. Uh, this this image shows my rule because you can see that Casey's body is positioned like a triangle. This shows the roll of triangles. Yeah. That's our presentation. Thank you. Rules of composition. Studio name, green screen. Members of studio, Lainey Woodward, Sigourney Morris, Ethan Wright, Levin Carson, Cecilia, Molly Bowman, Olivia Johnson, Abby Howard. Yes. Rules of composition. Rule of even and odds. The rule of even and odds. Having an odd number of objects is an image, an, an image will be more interesting and therefore pleasing. The, this exemplifies the rule because there are an even and odd numbers of subjects. Yes. The gaze. The rule of the gaze is when the subject looks directly at the camera. This often shows power. The image exemplifies the rule because the subject is looking directly into the camera. Since the subject is looking directly into the camera, it shows a powerful look. Repetition and pattern. The rule repetition and pattern is taking photos of repetition and pattern. It can show an, ob an abstract look. This image exemplifies the rule because it shows repetition and pattern. It shows pattern by the footprints in the sand and it shows repetition by the continuous pattern in the sand. Uh, this rule consists of a picture. Oh, aspect ratio. This rule consists of a picture that different geometric shapes, dimensions, can it be rectangle, squared, and they are oriented like a landscape. Explanation of how image is a precise rule. The rule. It is a precise rule because I cut the picture, the pictures, and it has different size and shapes. Here is an, an example of the shapes. It can be 4.2 or 5, 8.16. So, object framing and cropping, the explanation of framing and cropping is the camera viewpoint and what you should and should not include in the frame. So, my explanation is that my images use framing and cropping to simplify the picture a little bit. I think with all the different pumpkins, the picture is a little bit overwhelming. When you crop and frame the image down, you get to see more details and notice the things you might not have seen before. Okay. My rule of composition is the triangle. The rule of triangle is a creating a wide angle to create a three-sided symmetric picture. How the images exemplifies the rule is a triangle base shape describing the picture as a triangle. Rule of composition, rule of thirds, explanation of the rule. You divide the image into thirds. If the visual components lie on or near the lines, then the image often tends to look right. The corner post is to line up to the horizon hitting two of the points. The horizon line follows. Explanation of how rule exemplifies the rule. The images exemplifies the rules by the picture being in a corner and there being a small space of emptiness. The subject has to be in any of the corners and with the subject being in the corner, it focuses all 
of the viewer's attention to the image because it is in a different spot. My image is showing an example of this. My picture is of my rescue horse named Magic. The subject is in the corner of the image, and that puts all of the viewer's attention to the horse. I chose my image because I like using my horses for pictures because they are so photogenic. I did symmetry, and symmetry is a line that splits an object that mirrors itself when it's split in half. This image shows symmetry and represents a good example because both sides have the same thing and it basically mirrors. If I were to put a line through the middle, then the line would go right down the center of his body and it would look symmetrical. This one's simplification, which means having a more dilated, lighter center in the image, which the background is less dilated, which puts more focus to the subject and makes it simplified. The reason I chose this image was because I felt it was a good example of simplification. It is up close and it's focused on the subject while the background is dilated, which defines simplification. So I did juxtaposition. Juxtaposition is when you place things closer to one another to order in order to recognize their differences. So instead of doing something super complex that was hard to comprehend, I decided to do something simple just so everyone could understand the concept I was trying to get at. This picture represents the clarity in a messy situation. The leaf representing the clarity and the black and white representing the messy situation. I chose space. Space can help create an impression of movement. In the image, there is a lot of empty space. This image represents space because of the background being empty. The cactus is the subject, so that is why this works with space. Leading lines. The lines lead the viewer's eye to the subject. I use this image to show leading lines by taking it from a different angle. It shows the snow on the railing of the deck leading to the trees in the yard. Leading lines give the image a different look. This is our rule of composition project. My rule of composition is the aspect ratio. The explanation of the rule is that the term is used to describe the dimensions of the width and height of your own of your image shown in ratio form. Aspect ratio images can help describe the image's dimensions by comparing the width and height of an image. The rule of simplification. Simplification is the technique of reducing only the most essential elements that support the visual statement. Just try taking an image's events with the most complicated background and just try to find the thing that stands out the most and make that the most essential visual element in that said image. The rule of reading lines is when the viewer sees the picture, their eyes are led to one subject. This image identifies the rule of reading lines because the viewer's eyes are directed to the end of one step. The rule triangle. The triangle shape gives the statement more solid than the picture. The picture simplifies the rule triangles because a very large rule triangle in the picture is taken. Framing and cropping. Framing and, cro framing and co cropping is a rule that is used heavily. When you frame or crop, you choose the camera viewpoint. You decide what is in the frame and what is not. In the image above, I use the framing and cropping method by cropping out the background and giving the subject a frame. The subject is more clear when you crop out the background and bring more attention to the subject. Pattern and repetition. When something is repeated, it can create a pattern. Patterns can create textures. In the image above, it shows a plaid pattern. When you look at the image from a higher viewpoint, the images have a strong, crisp pattern to them. The dotted lines in the second image really emphasize the pattern in the colors. The rule even and odd. An even amount of subjects in an image can make it look unnatural, while an odd amount of subjects make it look more natural and balanced. The image on the right has only two sub people in it, making it look a bit uncomfortable and unnatural. Yet the image on the left has three subjects, giving the picture better balance, which gives it a more natural look. Symmetry. Symmetry is a symmetrical balance in a picture that makes an image be able to be split and still mirror each other. This image exemplifies the rules because you could cut it in half and both sides will mirror each other with good balance. The rule of space. The rule of space is the area where the subject is facing. This image shows space because my subject is facing towards a negative space, so they probably have a thought going on in their head. The rule of thirds. The rule of thirds is a guideline that your subject is in. This image shows rule, is showing rule of thirds because my subject is in the guidelines and is at the intersection point, which allows the viewer's eyes to go directly to, to the subject. The gaze. This is where a person or thing intensely looking into the camera and giving them power. The woman in the picture is looking directly at the camera and this draws attention to her eyes. Juxtaposition is where the image shows two opposite things to show contrast. This is an image of an older woman's hand and a younger person's hand. This is showing the difference between old and young. This is the end of our rule of composition project.
Hi. As a brownies. Rules of composition. Gage, Morgan, Trevin, Holly, Mia, and Ashlyn. Yeah. Um, so I wrote thirds. So this idea is that an off center composition is more pleasing to the eye and looks more natural than one where the subject is placed right in the middle of the frame. Rule of thirds is dividing images up in thirds. You place the subject on a horizontal and vertical line to make it look more natural. This rule makes things look more natural to the eye. All you need is a graph and, and to line up the subject with a vertical and horizontal line. Rule of even and odds. The rule of even and odds states that scenes composed of an odd number of subjects are, are more visually pleasing than scenes composed of even numbers. So a picture of three cats will, mo will likely be more interesting than a similar photo of four cats. The, SC the SVG defines that even and odd rule by saying this rule determines the insideness of a point on the canvas by drawing a ray form that that point to infinity in any direction and counting the number of path segments from the given shape that the ray crosses off. Having an odd number of objects in your photo is a simple way of making it more dynamic. <laughs> Why is my S down there? <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> triangles. If you're doing triangles, the images have been used since the beginning. You can use triangles by making three or more points in the image to make a triangle. Using this rule will make your images more pleasing to the eye. It will make the image feel more professional and thought out. That's me. Space. In the image, there needs to be an open space that isn't touched by the subject. Using this rule makes the subject stand out more. Simplification. Simplification is the technique of reducing a composition to only the most essential elements that support the visual statement. These pictures express the role of simplicity because there is only one thing to look at. The background only provides contrast to the subject. The first picture is simply a rabbit, and the second picture is simply a cloud. Wow. That's good wording. <laughs> <laughs> rule of symmetry. This rule makes things look more natural to the eye. All you need is... What? Why did you change it? Shh, just... Okay, anyway, so, like, if you split it in half, it's even on both sides. This rule of composition is when something repeated or something is creating a pattern to create a visual pattern. This photo shows repetition pattern because of like the steps in the wall is a pattern. Okay. Juxtaposition. <laughs> the rule of space. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> I think I did something. Now I have to restart the video. A term which places different elements side by side in order to emphrase their difference, differences, Emphasize. emphasizes their differences, re reveals surprising similarities. Juxtaposition is is technique in which two or more ideas, places, characters, and their actions are placed side by side. Gaze. The subject looks directly at the viewer. Directly <laughs> at the viewer, it can't have a direct effect. So it's where like the people are just, like staring like Shut right up, at you. Okay. <laughs> okay, leading lines. Leading lines refers to a technique of composition where the viewer of your photo's attention is drawn to lines that lead to the main subject of the image. This image exemplifies leading lines because the houses and trees are framing the direction in which the road is heading. Aspect ratio. An image is the ratio of the of image to length. What length? Width to length. Shows different shapes of the picture, like how long and tall. And yeah. <laughs> Cropping and framing. This rule is when you take a photo and you choose the camera viewpoint and determine what is kept in the photo or what is taken out. The original photo, which is the one right photo, was the first picture, which is just the trees and the sky, and then I cropped it to make the new photo. The subject is like the clouds. So there's two different subjects. Is that a joke? <laughs> oh, hey, we're done. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, this is the rule of composition by the Autochrome crew. What the hell are you? <laughs> Our first rule is the rule of evens and odds, and it's basically saying that with an odd amount of subjects, that the picture looks more natural to the human eye than having an even amount. So we showed this or these two pictures because one of them has two subjects and the other has three. This rule is framing and cropping, and it 
is when you take a photograph and you like zoom in on one subject and then once you zoom out it just tells a different story this rule of composition is the gaze and this is where a person is staring at the camera almost like they're looking into the viewer's eyes now this image exemplifies the gaze because it shows the subject staring directly at the camera which looks like they're staring at the viewer This rule is called simplification, and it, uh, the image is the image. It's an image that reduces the composition to only the most essential elements that support the uh, the only the most ele essential elements that support the subject. And yeah. basically, it's, um, the example that I have on here is it's focusing on more of the main subject. The next rule is symmetry, and basically, both um, the image is like a mirror image of the other on if you cut it in half. Uh, this is a rule of pattern and repetition. Uh, the rule is when something is repeated, it can make a visual pattern, and this photo makes a visual pattern by like how the bricks are laid out. The next rule is the rule of thirds, and it's basically saying that if the subject is placed on one of the lines of thirds, it creates a more di dynamic image. So in this photo, the plane is on the right line. This is the rule of leading lines. The lines would lead you to look at the subject. The lines in this picture are the fence, and they lead you to the subject, which is the bridge. This is the rule of space. With the rule of space, it causes you to anticipate movement. This cat activates space by his footing position. You cannot help but feel he is moving. This rule is triangles, and this is where you take your subjects and you can position them to form a triangle. This image exemplifies triangles because all three of the subjects are positioned to make a triangle like right up at the top. Okay, this rule of composition is just a position. Um, this is when two or more subjects are placed next to each other by the artist to emphasize their differences. And these images exemplify this because they contrast each other and bring out the best in each image. This rule of composition is aspect ratio. Aspect ratio is the proportional relationship between an image's width and its height. And an aspect ratio of one to one is basically a square and the an aspect ratio of 4 to 3 stretches the in, image. This image um, exemplifies this because the first image is a 1 to 1 ratio, making it a square, and the second image is a 4 to 3 aspect ratio, um, which is commonly used in iPhone cameras. Serenity did the rule of thirds. Uh, the main visual components lie on or near the lines. The images look like they have better composition. So you turn the grid on on your camera and it'll split the photo into nine sections. The trees are not in the center and they are on the right of the grid lines. She also did the rule of triangles, and it's when um, a picture forms a triangle. The building represents the rule of triangles because the tips of the building is are triangles, and the shape of the top of the building also forms an upside down triangle. She also did aspect ratios, and that's when the the length and the width of the Photos can be changed. Those pictures use the ratio because it's a smaller ratio of a big picture, and then you adjust. She adjusted the picture to be small. <laughs> uh, I'm trying. I did roll symmetry. 
Roll of symmetry is when an image can be split in half with a vertical, horizontal, or diagonal line, and the photo is the same on both sides. Uh, the, the picture I chose, if you draw a vertical line down the middle of the image, the halves are almost the exact same. The tree is he is standing in is on both sides, and his body would be two, which is also symmetrical. I also did the rule of space. It's when a subject is looking off or trained that they are thinking about something and that is not in the image or it's distracting them. The picture I chose was a picture of my dog. He was staring off at the birds in the yard. I also did framing and cropping. It's where you take an image that has one meaning and then you crop the photo to give it a new meaning. I first used a picture of both of my dogs and then I cropped one of them out. I did leading lines, especially with the rule of lines within an image that directs the viewer's attention to a certain subject. The explanation of the rule, this image exemplifies leading lines because the tracks in the tree lines lead your eyes to the sky that is in the distance. Pattern and repetition, when elements repeat themselves and they are considered a pattern, it exemplifies the rule of pattern and repetition because the waves repeat over and over. I did the gaze. And when a person will slash animal looks steadily and intensely, especially in admiration or su surprise or thought by the photographer is taking a photo. Um, I, these images, ex ex uh, the person in the photo stared to the camera to create a gaze. That did rule of odds. It's a type of composition in which an image is divided into an odd number, and there's odd number of people in that. Um, I did juxtaposition. This rule is when two things are placed together close with a contrasting effect. And this picture exemplifies this rule because it is the older person with the younger person. Um, I did simplification. This rule is when you take a picture of something simple. This, pic this picture represents simplification because it is a simple picture of a cactus. The rules of composition by the Brady Bunch. Simplification. The rule of simplification means having a more detailed slash lighter center of the image, while the background is less detailed or darker or sometimes even blurred. This image exemplifies the rule of simplification by allowing the wall to pop out and have the grass in the background blurred out. Rule of triangles. The golden triangles instead classical rule of composition used for paintings and photography. This timeless rule states that to create a harmonious image, the main subject should describe the shape of a triangle. This image exemplifies the rule of triangles by showing three bags in a triangle-like shape, but also making the north face bag the center of attention by putting it up to top. The rule of thirds uh, in photography, the rule of thirds is a type of composition in which an image is divided evenly into thirds, both horizontally and vertically, and the subject of the image is placed at the intersection of those dividing lines or along the lines itself. Uh, the image exemplifies the rule of thirds because the exit sign is on the line. Uh, rule of evens and odds. Rule of odds states that having an odd number of objects in an image will be more interesting and therefore pleasing. In case there is an even number of objects, your brain would have to easy time organizing the objects into pairs and therefore bringing in symmetry and dullness. The explanation in the image there are seven visible red berry things on the photo. They make the picture stand out because uh, of the odds. <laughs> Space. The rule of space in photography is simply the act of adding visual space in front of the direction that an object is moving, looking or pointing to imply motion and direction and to lead the eye of the viewer. This image exemplifies the rule of space because of all the space that is to the left of Lila. The gaze. The rule of the gaze is used a lot in compositions where the subjects are people, especially in portraits. The rule tells us that when we are taking a phot photograph, normally of a person, we need to try to leave space beyond the frame where they can fix their gaze. This image exemplifies it because Trevin is gazing to the camera. Uh, the rules of aspect ratio. Aspect ratio is a term used to describe the dimensions of your image shown in ratio form. Initially, the aspect ratio of your image is determined by your camera sensor. Most DSLR cameras sensors have a 3 to 2 ratio, which is the same aspect ratio as a 35 millimeter film. Uh, the example of Devin and Gasson shows the different aspect ratios between the two images. The image to the left is in a 4 to 3 ratio, while the image on the right is a 1 to 1. Framing and cropping. If the shot you have taken is losing impact due to a busy background or surroundings, crop in tight around your main point, focus, eliminating the background so all attention falls on the main subject. Uh, the image that I have chose to use as my example is my image of Devin and Gaston. In the original image, the focus is on Devin and Gaston, and the cropped image I wanted the focus to be on Gaston looking outward. 
symmetry. The explanation of the rule is an image that is, has a symmetrical balance. The image exemplifies symmetry as when you take the image sideways, the image is nearly symmetrical. <coughs> Juxtaposition. Placing subjects close together to emphasize their difference is the explanation of this rule. The, the image exemplifies the rule as one hand belongs to somebody of an older age and the other hand is of a child. Thank you for listening to our presentation. create a more natural and balanced image, where having an even number is a little disturbing to look at. There are two chicks in this picture. Two is an even number, this following the rule of evens and odds. In the second picture, there are five pups. Five is an odd number, following the rule of odds and evens. Simplification. Making an image nice and simple while still showing its artfulness. Water droplets are simple to take photos of. Juxtaposition. The image shows two opposites to show contrast. It's an older man and a baby. Framing and cropping. You choose what, what exists within and outside of the photograph to help show an idea. Cropping out the adult makes the image seem as though it's a very nice picture of, a ba of the baby rather than a picture taken before they were ready. Aspect ratio. The shape of an image and image, the length versus the width of an image. The image on the left is thinner than the version of the one on the right. Leading lines. Leading lines refers to a technique of composition where the viewer of your photo's attention is drawn to lines that lead to the main subject of the image. A leading line paves an easy path for the eye to follow through different elements of a photo. The image includes multiple lines that lead the viewer's focus towards the subject of the photo. I'm Allie Tudor, and I am part of the group The Brownies, and here is our slideshow presentation on the rules of composition. Um, our first, first rule of uh, composition is pattern and repetition. So I took this picture of some bikes that have, like, neon wheels on them um, to illustrate this because the repetition or the repeating bike makes a pattern, and that's what this whole rule is about, making a pattern and... It provides interest to a piece. My next rule is rule of thirds. And um, the rule of thirds is a technique used by many photographers as well as artists to bring interest to a piece. And the rule states that dividing the photo, the photo or art piece into nine squares of equal size with two horizontal and two vertical lines um, creates quadrants. And I used the lower write two quadrants to take this picture of the flower and therefore it follows the rule of thirds. My next rule is framing and cropping and this rule explains that a frame can be created by framing something with some sort of uh, shape or object and so this image exemplifies this rule because the archway frames out the exit. My name is Trey Sapshire, and my first rule of composition is symmetry. The, the explanation of the rule is this rule says that you take pictures that are symmetrical or almost symmetrical. This image exemplifies the rule if you, because if you fold it, then it will look almost exactly the same. This rule is evens and odds. Using three subjects makes it more natural, while two makes it unnatural. It, this image exemplifies the rule because one, the flowers have three subjects and the leaves have two. This is juxtaposition, even though the thing doesn't show for some reason. The exam, the exclamation is when you put a subjects in a photograph close to each other to show a difference. This one exemplifies the rule because the snow and the grass are much, are some, are a are much different, so they demonstrate juxtaposition. Oh. What? Okay. I am Josh Mays, and my first rule of composition is simplification. The ex ex explanation of the rule. Simplification is making one subject in an image stand out with focused, focused lighting, focus in general, or camera placement. 
uh, the exponent, uh, this this image I used shows simplification because the dinosaur stands out. He has really good lighting. The grass and the ground behind him are blurred more, and it really just makes the subject pop, which is the goal of simplification. Then my second rule of composition is aspect ratio. Aspect ratio is changing the length and height of an image to create more emphasis. This image exemplifies aspect ratio because the image was cropped to have dimensions of one by one. This change in aspect ratio cut out a lot of dead space that was not activated by the subject. My third and final rule of composition was the gaze. The gaze is when your photo includes a subject who is staring directly into the camera lens, which activates the subject to audience connection. This image simplifies the rule because the little boy is looking directly into the viewer's eyes. My name is Jordan Butcher, and the first uh, rule that I did was space. Uh, explanation of the rule, the act of adding visual space, and uh, how the image amplifies the rule. There is one object in a picture, and there is space all around it. My second rule is leading lines. Leading lines is a visual line in a photo that leads to something. Uh, this photo matches, matches leading lines because of the three trees that are in the picture. My third and final rule was triangles, and con the explanation of the rule was common way of uh, associating three variables and how the picture uh, makes the rule. Uh, as you can see at the top of the picture, there are very explanations of the triangles on the top of the picture. And that is our project. Thank you for listening. Yes, thank you for listening, everybody.